seems just it seems just like yesterday when I almost died in the blizzard. Uh oh. Any Pikachu? Or no, that wasn't a Pikachu. No. That really is nice when you don't have Commander Legends product on pre release weekend. Yeah, no kidding. Cream for that. Shot him in the ball. 
Somebody's getting shot. There's a storm coming. About to lose control of your rear plumbing. Fire in your hole. Your name etched into my brain and my soul. Sarah, no time to pay your dues. 60,000 ways for these cycles to die. Bottle rocket up your butt and send you into the sky. Kick you up and get some villains after you as you fall. Take a power drill and skewer you into a wall. Cause there's a storm coming. Bullets getting high. Hear those guns drumming. Somebody's getting shot. There's a storm coming. About to lose control of your rear plumbing. Fire in your hole Threatening to murder my man, live bits, lady. What the hell is wrong with you? Hi, Rob. Hello. That's right. Ready for Shadow Land? Oh, yeah. How are you? This is a storm coming. Bullets getting high. Hear those guns drumming. Somebody's getting shot. There's a storm coming. About to lose control of your rear blowing. Fire in your hole It's Jack and uh, Lemonade. Nice. <laughs> yeah, drink enough of it and it'll taste like mango. Oh. Sh microphone there we go now i'm live on the stream i wasn't i did that the other night i was sitting there talking for like 10 minutes i think and uh then i realized i looked over at my thing and i realized that there's no sound on the little monitor meter thing because i had my mic off that's always fun I was wondering why people were putting little question marks into the chat, right? I guess that clued, clued me in, should have, right? Okay. Like, uh, what's going on? like, what what is he saying? All right. Well, let's do this thing. Who do we got here? Um... I see Abar, I see Mecca. Say I see France. I see, I see dead I, people. I see, I, wonder, I see dead people. Oh, I mean, never mind. Ew. No, I mean you guys are gonna be dead. No, I mean just kidding. Yeah, the way we are. Uh, you know, oh, wow. you know. 
Okay, this is, who's this right here? That is, maybe I should make my screen bigger. I can say. That is Barris. Barris. Where's Barris at? Yeah, I'm gonna, oops, there, I'm gonna zoom into the, there we go. Oop, not that far, not that far. There we go. Now it looks better. I can see it. And everybody in the TV land can see it. Okay, I see... Kahu, Chamberlain, Barris, which I don't know if Barris is going to be here. Mecca, Abar, Yarzu, and I don't know if anyone else is coming. Himdall and Marcus are up there in the top of the map. Just give it a couple minutes or a couple seconds here and see if we can if uh, Abar can get back in in here. So what happened? I don't even remember where we're at. Oh yes, I remember. You defeated the wolves. Correct. I think. So. Uh, yes. Okay, they have red axes. Yeah, dead uh, dead yeah. axes, yeah. Yeah, they have red axes. Um, and then you were basically deciding what to do next. You already dealt with the mammoth to a certain extent. Yeah, we uh, somehow lived. Right. He's in there crying over his dead master right now. Oh, I forgot about these dudes. The little kobolds. They're, they were hanging back over here by the sled, um, watching the shenanigans go on with the uh, white wolves, or winter wolves, I should say. They're over here by your sled. <clears throat> okay, and yeah, that's where we're at. Is Fluff making it back in here? He's restarting. Okay. I'm going to move Barris off to the side. I'm going to say he's going to go over and stand by the uh, Cobalts. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Right. There he is. Oh, let me fix that screen real quick. Make room for Troy in there. Okay, make it a little bit bigger here. There we go. Sweet. Now it has everybody in it. Fluff looks like he's coming in right now. We have zero viewers still, so we can say whatever we want. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. right. they... I enjoyed Godfather 3. What? <laughs> I liked all the Godfathers. I did like all the Godfathers. Of the three, I liked three the less. But Yeah. Well, sure. I liked two the best, of course. I think most people would agree with that. Mm. Yeah, one one does a lot of the setting up, so like some some of the times or or some of the the spots are pretty like just kind of long and boring. Like when he's just walking around in Italy. Oh, like, uh -huh. on the, yeah. He's That's just literally true. just walking around, like yeah. doing nothing. That's true. I like one though. I think one, I think one was good. Favorite. One was good. Yeah, yeah I mean, one like is the, great. They're all great. They're, so they're, three yeah. is good. Yeah, three's good. <laughs> I know. It just had a really weird vibe to it. It just, yeah, I don't know. Way too much Sofia Coppola. Right. Or whatever her name was. Uh, she just had to be in it. Daddy just had to put her in it. I need to read the books. I could be a big star. <laughs> I think the books are like super long. Yeah. I haven't read them, but I've oh, heard they're mind. really long. No. Yeah, I've never <laughs> yeah. read them. I've, I've seen them, but they look time. long. 
time for that what, crap. Which books? Who, who reads books? books anymore, right? I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> books. Oh. They made books? <laughs> what are those? I think it was originally a, it was originally a book. <laughs> yeah, originally. It's like a script. Maybe it was no, just uh, one. No was it one book? A script with no No, it, there no, was multiple he wrote books. several. Mm -hmm. Now I want to know how many he's written. All right. At how least many three, books right? There are. All right, viewers are popping in. If you're popping in, we're getting ready to start. We just had to wait for a couple people to get in. It looks like we have our party tonight. At yeah. least, unless, you know, the others happen to pop in. So tonight, if you're looking, if you're watching on the Twitch, you should be seeing the Twitch uh, extension where you can see the characters and see their stats and that kind of thing. You should be able to click on that, and if it's not working, let us know. It should be working. But, I heard we're level eight, right? Is that the case? Wow, what did that happen? Yeah, that's what I heard too. Not quite. If you have defeated the mammoth, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say last man standing gets to be level eight. All right, <laughs> level I'm just eight. not going to heal anybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> just stand back. And run! I'll just keep healing myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technically, we did defeat the mammoth because we encountered it. True. If you're going to play by the rules. Yep. Uh oh, <laughs> the rules. Yeah, that just reminded me because I watched uh, the gamers the other day too. Remember in here he goes, "Are we gonna play by the rules? Can we do that? Can we play by the rules? Do I get to, nope. do, do I get to roll? Do I get to at least get to roll?" And then he rolls and he rolls a one. That's such a great scene. <laughs> and then the, I, then I remember the DM goes, he goes, "Oh," he says, and he, he took his character sheet. He says, he says something. He says. Uh, and now he said something. He says, "If we don't mind playing by the rules, <laughs> <laughs> I'll control your character now." <laughs> uh, so funny. Okay, so this is where we're at, and you guys have just defeated the. Is everybody hear the sound effects? Okay. I hear the, the creepy icy tomb music. Oh, I haven't turned mine on yet. For a little, you know. Get us all in the mood here. Yeah, I can hear it. Sweet. Okay. If that means it's mine, I can hear mine. That means it's coming across the stream. Yeah, yeah it sounds creepy. Okay, so uh, I don't remember if there's anything else you guys said you were going to do at the end, but basically you killed the Winter Wolves and you were trying to decide what to do next. So that's where we're at. Um, wasn't there talk of what children being? Yes. Yeah, I think that's a bar where you are right there. We were talking about going in that hallway. That's like the only spot where we haven't been yet. Yeah. So we assume the children are in there. I think. Well, you haven't been through. Yeah, that whole actually that whole side. I mean, and if you if you're actually asking that in perspective of you knowing basically the size of this place, you were up in the northern you know sections. I think of, well, actually, uh, Yarzu was. Yeah, I went up there by myself. He was up there by himself. That's where he found the cobalts. And yeah. um, but the bottom part, you haven't been in any of that. That whole side of that whole complex, you've been in the middle. But um, yeah. Well, let's run head first in. Okay. <laughs> Well, Abar, you are right there. It feels like so. there's another mammoth, right? And you see another mammoth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and man, I turn around and run. You just see a shocked look on his face mammoth. as he runs. A dire, a dire mammoth. mammoth. Okay. It it extra tusks. <laughs> Coming out of everywhere. Yep. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, so... All right, so you see ahead of you there in the room, you see a huge slated animal cage with a locked gate attached to it by rusty hinges. It stands against the west wall of this chamber. Trapped inside the cage are two shivering humans in cold weather clothing. They look fearfully at you. Because you're an elephant. And you kind of look like the mammoth, so they're scared yeah, of you. that's fine. You're a miniature version of the mammoth. Is there a... I'm guessing there is a lock on a door type? Correct. 
So Bang. you're walking up to the cage, and you do see that the cage's metal slats are widely spaced, but not enough for How these. Uh, well, they're 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 wide, but not wide enough for these uh, teenagers to slip between them. The slats are made of metal, and uh, they're very. They look like they're just like basically frozen and cold. Um, let's see. The lock. There is a lock on the cage's gate, um, and yeah. So basically, you see inside as you look at that. You see a, a spindly girl with pointy teeth. Snow clings to the ends of her long braids. She is ready. Uh, she she's like uh, just shivering and kind of like standing. And, she, and she's looking fearfully at you, like I said, over to one side. Um, and you can see the two of them in there, I think, on the map, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other is a uh, uh, a boy, a pie-faced, he has a pie, or excuse me, he has a pie-bald face, whatever that means, flanked by small, malformed ears. So they look kind of like malformed and you know so forth. Um, he is examining... As you come in, he's examining the brackets that hold together the slats of the cage, um, looking like he's trying to find a way to break them. His hands are obviously frostbitten, and his teeth chatter uncontrollably. That means he has spotty skin. Yeah. Um, can I can I uh, walk up Gross. to the cage, sure. and um, and 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 tell the boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him, fear not, boy, we have come to rescue you. Here, hand me, uh, show me your hands, and I'm going to pull out my med kit, and I'm going to heal him. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cut Sounds him good. off. He, he, he cuts him off. And, ha and you hand it to him? No uggos. No, I preserve him. <laughs> Keep him for later. A snack. Yeah. No, but I'll, I'll use okay. a, a, a point of, or a charge on the healing kit to, to heal the kid. Okay. Sounds good. You need me to roll it? It's like a d6. Plus uh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Uh, give me a second. Sweet. Healer. Okay. There we go. Okay. Does, does the girl look like she could use some healing as well? Um... She just looks very cold. Um, she doesn't seem to have any frostbite on her that you can tell. He has it on his hands. He was was trying to like mess with the the grating on the cage and so forth. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you don't see anything on her. Um, he he looks at you with kind of a surprised look. He kind of looks down at his hands, which you know they they suddenly look better. They, the 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 uh, blackness of the frostbite kind of goes away as you heal it, and he looks like he feels much much better. And he kind of looks over at the girl, and he kind of says, he's kind of waving to her like, he says, they're, they're okay, they're friendly, they just healed me, see? See what happened? She goes, it's a trap. You... <laughs> yeah. All right. And then the girl comes over, she says, with her pointy teeth showing, <laughs> she kind of says, in a shaking voice, she goes, so, so, so are you you here to take us home? Yes, my child. We yeah. are. Okay, so they're. But the the the, the wolves, they'll they'll eat us. They're dead. We've dispatched said wolves. So they kind of look at each other with like surprised looks, like wow, like you know they look impressed, like you were able to actually do that. Oh yeah. Piece of cake. Okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> we're so, uh, is, you have cake. Like we're we're thing? so hungry. Pizza cake. <laughs> oh, I can like it, like, rations too. He's gotten any further with uh, taking any? Like no. when he was trying them out. <laughs> no, he's he was trying them, but he he can't. His hands were so cold and hurt that he was trying to pull them as best he can to get. I was just like in desperation, was trying to pull the the bars apart, but. He wasn't able to. Is there any any weakness that I can see um, to the cage at all? Can I do a uh, yeah, do an or... yeah, do an investigation. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Um, 
They're made of metal. Um, hard. They they look like they're very solid actually, and they're all frozen. Um, so it's a little hard to see exactly, but they are. Um, they're all metal, and they look like a very solid metal. Pretty thick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and give them rations. some rations to go ahead and start eating while we're trying to get the bars open. Okay. They're hungrily ripping them apart and eating them up. Uh oh, we lost Fluff again. Yeah, he's gone. The wolves got him. The wolves got him. They dragged hmm. him out when we weren't looking. Okay. Well, so you said that the lock on this cage? Yes, there is a lock. Anybody know how to pick a lock? Where's no, the I thief when we have lock. Him? No thief in the party. There's no thief in the party. For once. Yeah. And now you need to pick I a lock. Hit it with my axe. You could. Every time. It needs to pick a lock. I will bash it four hundred times until, <laughs> until it, opens. it opens. A better, 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 better. better. Just grab it and break it like Mark Henry did um, in the cage match. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any keys around? Like, have we looked around? Maybe there's no keys one on the searched yet. Um, oh, we didn't search around. those walls. Yeah, just do a perception check. I'll assume you're looking around the room to see if you can find them. Not me. You didn't see anything. You kind of looked around. But you're you're just intent on probably just bashing it anyway, right? Yeah, I'm really looking more at how I can hit it. Yeah, you're not into like, you know. Yeah, that kind of thing. Finding finding keys. Abar. Stupid idea. <laughs> Stupid keys. Twelve. Yarzu sixteen. Okay, so you search about the room. Um, you, there are no keys anywhere in the room that you can see. I have gonna, the master uh, key right here. <laughs> but, if he, I'm going to go out and, and uh, check the wolves' pockets. Go through their garments. <laughs> the wolves' pockets. The wolves pockets. You're not going to like what you find in that pocket. <laughs> no, you're not. It's really warm in here. Man. <laughs> um, yeah, is there here? anything on the wolves? No. They just have... They just, they're just, just, just wolves. I don't see any keys. Oh, you know where the keys are. They're with that damn elephant in the other room. No offense, Abar. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to say damn it. elephant? Break the, lock. break the lock. Wait. I thought somebody was already doing that. Are you both going to hit at it? Oh, I was just waiting. Okay. Well, Mecca just is just going up there, and she wants to hit it, apparently. That's oh, nice. my gosh. <laughs> I like that. I like a natural <laughs> 20. <laughs> Did that, that help? Okay. Break that lock. <laughs> um, well, it doesn't mean it's going to break it necessarily. But, yes, uh, it does. <laughs> roll a strength check. Just to make sure. You hit it. That's for sure. That's okay. Did, did, did no. you guys see it? Did you guys did see it? It was on, it was on 17. 17. Yeah, nope. I did roll back. Nope. nope. <laughs> well, I just used my little, uh, you know, in-game function to... No, <laughs> tip my monitor. I tipped, I tipped the monitor. I did. I grabbed my monitor and kind of tipped it, and it went up oh, seven. Okay, no, you're good. Um, so you hit it, and you hit it with enough force that uh, it breaks the lock. It's still sitting on there, but it, it broke the lock apparently. Okay. 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 All right. So let's see. Okay, you're opening the door. Well, you're not even over there. You need to move over there. Okay, I'm going to move you over. Okay, you're there by the door. And you hit the lock. You broke it. It fell off. And you're opening the gate? You're opening the gate? Mecca? Mecca, Mecca? Oh, I'm not opening the gate. Huh? What? Are you opening the so gate? I would, but she okay. did it. No. All right, she's opening the gate. Okay, when you do that... Uh, the, okay, okay, Rick, okay, Rick, he's probably going to be coming in. Okay, I'll make room for him when he comes into the 
stream. Okay, um, you hit it, you open the door, and it makes this loud squealing sound when you open the door. Oh, no. Anybody have any deputy Because the hinges, you can see that the large rusty hinges are very uh, rusty. Hey, hey Rufus. hey, Rufus. How's it going, man? Just came into the stream. Sweet. All right. Irish Thunder is raiding us. Oh, he's raiding us. That's what I thought. Okay. Thanks for the raid, Irish Thunder. All right. So, yeah, when you open the door, it makes this big, loud squealing sound. Okay. All right. It's fine. The wolves are dead. We just need to get out of here before the uh, mammoth comes back. Uh-huh. Well, as soon as... I don't think you can fit in here. Having said that, um, you do... It comes back. The, well, the loud squeal went off from the from the cage, and you do hear this loud trumpeting sound and the stamping of feet. Oh, great. From the area of where the mammoth was at, where you were fighting it. So. Is anybody full hit points? Nope. nope. Mine shows I am. I think I got healed. Yep, I'm full hit points. Oh, you did at the end of the last round. I remember that. Yeah. So, yes. It's mammoth fight time. <laughs> mammoth fight time. <laughs> yeah, you should be full. That's fine. Okay. Oh, we should be full? Yeah, you can. You can. You can be full. Let's put it that way. That's him being merciful because he knows the mammoth is going to tear us to pieces. Right. right. You guys are mammoth. M mammoth. Oh, he said right. right. What? what? See, what? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Hey, what? 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 We're looking at a TPK. He said right. Well, it could be. It was almost a TPK last time. But somebody actually talked him down. Okay, oh. so. Mammoth. Yeah, the Funny. mammoth is uh, obviously angry. Uh, or something disturbed. The sound obviously disturbed it, and you can hear it. It's roaring, and you can hear it kind of trumpeting and kind of moving. You know that. You can hear it from back in this other area that you were at. So, what do you do? Hurry, kids! Run. We have to go. <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody, start moving. Yeah, let's grab well, uh, the kids and go. And cash this in the register and taking off. <laughs> cash on the register. Yep. Okay. How far can we move? You can just keep, you, you can just move. Whole, yeah, just move wherever you're gonna move, and then uh, we got to grab the kids out of here. Um, they're gonna move. They're gonna follow you. Go, go to the right. The kids are gonna follow you out of the cage. They're so small. They are. They're just little kids. They're. Well, actually, you know, because uh, I don't have the sizes right on the thing. Here, we'll make them bigger. There we go. <laughs> they're like the real. There size. we go. Now they're now they're actual kid size. There you go. There you go. Okay, kids. Okay, what are you guys doing? You hear, hear from up in the area up here um, where the blue thing was that you hear that. That's where you hear the crashing sounds. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these. Winter wolves. Okay. Well, we need to get get our sleigh. That's up here where uh, the three kobolds are at. Because you had stuff on the sleigh, right? Okay, we got all our. You got all your gear, lines, right? Yeah, you guys got all your supplies and stuff on the sleigh. All right, what do you do? Okay, so as Carhu, as you move past that entrance right there, I should say Carhu and Chamberlain. You can see the, or you can barely make out, because it's kind of dark in there, but um, you can make out the mammoth kind of trumpeting and stamping its foot and kind of making its way. It's not like it's charging. It's just kind of like moving towards this uh, this hallway here. Does it look Goodbye, like he's moving? We're leaving. Does it look like he's moving to block <laughs> and like guard his area? It, it kind of does look like he's doing that, but he's he's acting very aggressively that direction. It doesn't look like he could yeah, even no. see you guys down there. He just obviously heard the noise and was trying to like, you know, he's he, it upset him. So he's just kind of like trumpeting and stamping his foot and he's just slowly making his way down this hallway. So 
We gotta hurry. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, gather everyone up and start moving out. Okay. So you're Heading gonna... towards the north, right? No, we want to go south, right, to Dugan's Hole? We gotta uh, cross, which way to cross a little Right, right. Right. Back the way you were coming when you met the Winter Wolves and that kind of thing. Okay. Should we run around yeah. the back side of this thing, though? Which way do you guys want to go? You guys want to go north on the map or south? Because I think you came from the south. You did come from the south. Though. I thought we came from the... Uh, oh, did we? We came from, from well, the you, uh, east. The top. Well, you, uh, well, you came... Yeah, actually, you just came directly straight, like where that blue blue mark is. You came across that way, yeah. So basically, you're just going to be going off to the right of the map, if you're all going to take off. Hey, let's do yeah, let's and go. head back the way take we off. came. Are you going to just like be running, or what? Uh, casual? Yeah, I'm casual. Gonna like natural. Natural? Yeah, not, natural not skipping. Me. We're going to skip out. Nonchalant. <laughs> Nonchalant. <laughs> okay. you, ever, you ever seen the way Shaft walks down the road? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys are going to basically head out um, and head towards the town. Okay. So you guys got a big troop of people with you. Um, you got the three kobolds with... And you got the two children, and and they are they are still suffering and very cold. Even though they have cold weather clothing on, they're not at the best. You know, you did heal the boy up a little bit. Uh, the girl is kind of falling behind a little bit. You guys are trudging through the snow. Um, obviously, they're very very cold still, even with the cold weather clothing on. Um, but you know, they're just basically mal malnourished, so they're not moving real quick. Yeah. But just so you know, it's going to slow you down a little bit. Um, we, we can put them in the, in the, in the, in the sleigh. Can we carry them on the sleigh? Yeah. Faster. Or put them on the sleigh faster. Yeah. That, that's what, what you want to do. Put them on the sleigh? Yeah, yeah put them on the sleigh with, uh, I don't know if we have extra blankets or whatever. You just had all of your stuff that you were hauling with you. Okay. So, all right. So you head out. You head out towards Dugan Hole where you know the direction to go. Um, let's go over here to do this. Bury him under all of our gear. Cover him up with all the gear? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go to, uh, all right. We're going to head into Dugan's Hole here. I don't know if I can find Dugan's Okay, Dugan's Hole. Okay. We're going to flip the map. Oh. i got to grab you guys real quick and move you over. I'll move you guys over in a minute. Right now it's just showing Dugan's Hole on the screen. Um... So many jokes. Okay. All right. So you guys head into Dugan's Hole and uh, make your way into town. All right. Let's How deep into Dugan's Hole do you think we're going to go? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if we penetrate the walls. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh, the Dugan's Hole. Jokes are starting. Honestly, honestly, I'd like to just like barely get in there and just feel around a little bit. Yeah, there's too much resistance. Getting into anything we probably back empty. out. I mean, right. It's just such a great uh, name of a town, you know. It's just, it's just a great name of a town. It, you yeah. have to, it has to be made fun of it. It's just... uh, I mean, the town really needs to be ready for us. That whole, <laughs> we don't want to surprise it. Right, right. Bad news. <laughs> Things can get real messy. <laughs> okay, so. You, yeah, Messi and Dugan's Hole. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so you make your way there. Thanks, uh, wizards. Yeah, thank you for giving us this material. Okay, so you make it in. You're you're on your way to on there on the same path that you were originally going on before the wolves took you to the. <laughs> <laughs> you're heading to the same hole. You were, I mean, Dugan's Hole. <sighs> okay. Time and time again, it just won't stop. We come back to the same hole. Oh man. Can we circle around? Huh? <laughs> All right. So Do you have to be invited in here. Is there it's like a possible. watch, a gate watch, or anything? No, actually, this town, um, like I was talking about before, I gave you a little background of it. Um, it's there's not the population is pretty small. Um, you've heard that they are not necessarily that friendly in this town, 
and uh, yeah. it's a smaller town. Um, these people are obviously to you looking at the children. They seem a little bit deformed, <laughs> like almost like inbreeding. Well, like when visitors <laughs> poke by. Yeah, it's like inbreeding. Want to be first. Huh? Want to be cuddled first. They do, they do at Diggins Hole. Um, well, let's push in. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so, anyways, you uh, let's see. Let me get over to where my information's out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. My screen's still showing us at the uh, frost giant layer. Is that you? Is that you correct? are, but that won't show on the chat. The okay. it's showing Dugan's Hole. Um. Oh, okay, it's showing so, Dugan's Hole on your screen, just not on our screen. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I don't see Dugan's Hole. Yeah, I haven't moved you guys over yet because yeah. it's basically you're just going into the town. So, um, so it's another. Basically, you'd gone about three miles or so from Goodmead on your way here. And so you have about another three mile. You know that there's another three mile um, trek until you get here. Um, now, let's see. You're not doing docks. So it's just you. So it only takes you know just a few hours left to get back there. Um, the weather is actually um, cooperating with you. The it's still cold, obviously, but not super windy. You can make. You can see. A pretty good distance the snow is not like flying around that much so you're able to make it there fairly easily with no problems okay so you make your way um into the you see the town as it comes up and it looks kind of like a shabby little town it's that it's not real big um the place doesn't look like um good beat at all um and yeah so you're making your way into there okay let's see um so as you make you come into the town you notice that some of the people are are obviously all covered up like they normally are, and they're all looking at you very suspiciously. This isn't like necessarily when you're going into good me. These people are like extra suspicious. They're peeking out of their windows in their houses. They're slamming their doors as you come in. They don't seem to be very friendly at all. Okay. Um, but as you make your way uh, further into the town, you notice that a few people are starting to take notice that you have – the children with you and you notice that as you as you're going down one of the streets that somebody makes an exclamation of like oh, they saved them and they and it, this person runs off somewhere after you see that okay and no, we um, can eat them <laughs> we're going to eat them we found some Do food these, are these kids all weird looking too yes the kids are definitely okay. yeah because remember she had pointy teeth he was looking all kind of like, you know, strange looking. Probably yeah. horse. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay. So, as you're making your way in, the kids are saying, take us take us to our mother. We, we can show you there. We can lead you there. Lead the way. Okay. Can you, does anyone recall yeah. why we're coming to this town? I'm drawn a blank you were coming to this town because the this is where it was told that the um the guys who were involved in the fight the with Hintrail. the dwarves oh, the zentarum people the zentarum um oh, okay. may have been may have been coming from this area so you were kind of following up on that to try to Zentarum came from here yeah you were they you had been told the zentarum came from and, here and they were involved in the big fight with the dwarves in the in the tavern, and okay. so you're trying to hunt them down, or you're trying to figure out, you know, the whole connection with the Zentarum, Basically, is what you're trying to do. So, so I'm talking to the kids as we're going into Dugan's Hole. Um, I ask them, do we take a left or a right at the airport drive in Robert's Lane? <laughs> <laughs> well, people that don't live there won't get that joke. <laughs> oh, but anybody in here is well. I think Bushwicky Gaming would, though, right, Bushwicky? He's on there. He said good evening to everyone on the chat, but he would understand what she was saying. <laughs> all right. So, all right, you lot, you've lost me again with these Dugan Hole uh, <laughs> jokes. I keep getting lost. Okay, okay so you are you're following the kids, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Heading to the to the mom's house. Okay. So eventually you come to sort of a dilapidated uh, little uh, um, uh, 
place, hovel, I should say. And uh, basically, the there's a woman standing outside, and she just immediately rushes out and grabs both of the kids and starts hugging on them and so forth. And um, and she's just like obviously just crying, and they're they're all crying and and, and whatnot. Um, so. Yeah, so there, this, you see this little scene going on here, and a few other people start to come out of the houses and, and look, and they're kind of staring at you. They don't seem to be as suspicious now as they see what, what has obviously transpired here, that you saved the two uh, children. And Reward time. Reward time. You look about, put your hand out. What do we get? Or the kids go back. Right? Sandwiches. <laughs> or... Or we eat them. Sandwiches. Okay, so eventually this person uh, comes walking up, um, and some of the people kind of part as as this person's walking up. Um, and it's a woman. Um, she takes her uh, face mask off because she's you know it's very cold out. But she takes that off, and you see that she's human, and she looks very she looks pretty old. And, they, and you notice, as like I said, everybody's kind of making way for her. So she seems to be somebody of importance. And she walks up, and she just comes up. She's got a very gruff uh, look on her face. And she says, well, what have we here? What's happening here? Uh, we heard children. that uh, there were a couple of children that were trapped in the frost giant's lair. And so we went and found them and brought them back to you. Really? And she kind of looks with this wide-eyed look on her face. She goes, we assumed they were dead. Uh, apparently not. Would have yeah. been if it wasn't for us. Hmm. Yeah, well, uh, um, yeah, well, well, I'm sure that, uh, the, the, the town will thank you for this. But who, who might you be? My name is Edgra Dermoot. I am the speaker of this town. Oh. This is Yarzu. And well, I, I introduce myself right away and say I'm the speaker elect. Well, I guess not speaker elect. <laughs> <laughs> All the votes haven't been counted yet. And, yeah. Candidate. Still waiting on Nevada. Speaker. Still waiting on Nevada. <laughs> still waiting yeah. on Bryn Shander. We're still waiting on Dugan's Hole. All the votes. Right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go ahead, Yarzo. Yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm the uh, I'm running for the speaker in good good mead. And um, we've come to deliver these kids and actually um, just to meet you to foster a better relationship between our communities. Good mead <laughs> relationship. I, I think not. Is this not a good first step, though? Well, hmm. I guess it is, but we don't have a very good relationship with good meat. They've never exactly. treated us very well. Bad meat. We call them bad meat. <laughs> Sour meat. Big stuff. Only had meat. <laughs> Dumb meat. Dumb meat. <laughs> Well, it cannot be disputed that you did help these poor children who we believed were long dead. She says it really strangely. You <laughs> notice that a few times, like, and some of the people kind of look at her like that and, like, look strangely at her as she says that. How long? <laughs> a long time. Ever since the winter wolves started stealing food from us oh those wolves we killed yes what they and won't bother you anymore now all the people <laughs> all start like murmuring to each other like oh they killed him they killed him oh, oh we should have we should have took some pelts or something oh, yeah, that's what i was just thinking they killed him well i mean we took the kids she just yeah. yeah could take the kids pelts well you have no evidence that you did kill them but we can only assume that you at least ran them off. I have a big old bite mark. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you ask? What are the kobolds doing? Is that the bodies? Oh, the kobolds? 
Yeah. As you turn about to look for them, they don't appear to be anywhere near w with you guys. Oh, uh, they they bounced. They bailed out even. <laughs> Saying thank they you. Bounced. They bounced. Awesome. Uh, deal with. Who do we call it? Want to say crazy Nancy or crazy Kate? Yeah, <laughs> crazy Kate. <laughs> Um. Okay. So, anyways, uh, I got from oh. do what? I got that statue still. Oh right. Okay, so somebody they turned or something. Right. So, she says, "Well, thank you very much for this, and uh, well, I have other important matters to attend to. Um, I'm sure that you can." Um, you find your way out of town once you're are done uh, letting the children uh, go to their mother. And she kind of turns on her heel and walks away. I can I call her and say, we have one more thing we need to discuss. And what is that? You have time. Have you seen any representatives of the Zentarum around town? And she kind of like are you stops in her you? tracks and she kind of turns around and she says what do you know of the Zentarum? attacked good mead really <laughs> bad i mean that's too bad yeah we ran them off too well a staged fight yeah there's no Zentarum here Zentarum agent would say that hmm Zentarum. I am no Zentarum. Zentarum agent says what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Gosh, uh... she says what? Okay. She says, if you wish to find Zentarum, I would go to Bryn Shander. Where? Bryn Shander. Do you not know of Bryn Shander? You guys might, because some Do of you we? are you guys are from the area, so you know it's another yeah. you know it's another town in ten towns. And left at Albuquerque. Uh, take yes. a left at Albuquerque. Yeah, you take a left at <laughs> Albuquerque. Okay. She goes. I would check there and leave us in Duly peace. Duly noted. Duly noted. Um, would you mind if we investigated for ourselves a little bit here in your town? Just want to make sure okay. that they're not playing you for a fool as well. Yes, we'd like to well, prod around Dugan's hole a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everyone? No. Purely out of curiosity. <laughs> Isn't that the problem? Can't you tell from all these people that that's there's been too much of messing around with Dugan's hole here? That's what they call it. Something smells funny here in Dugan's hole. <laughs> there is something, though. Okay. So, she says... Well, feel free, but I suspect that uh, you won't find anything. I'm sure you can see your way out. <laughs> You're access to a meat hall or a tavern? Hmm. We have no place for lodging for outsiders here. You have a place where we can get a drink? No. Perhaps a nice <laughs> family would welcome us. Well, you can talk Perhaps to the children we save. Well, you can maybe talk to Hilda. Drinking. You can maybe talk to Hilda. She seems to owe you for having her children returned. Good day. And she walks off. Good day, madame. Don't, Don't forget, forget your mask. mask. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Oh, you dropped a you dropped a crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it is well known. It is right. Okay. And so Hilda's, you know, crying and so forth, and she says, oh, please, please come inside. Please come inside. It's a creepy music for this town. Yeah. Uh, this it's scary Dugan's town. Hole. Oh, wait. This is not is the right... Dueling banjos? Wait, this is not the right music for Dugan's Hole. Hang on. Actually, it is Dugan's Hole. Okay. Oh, wait. Here we go. This is the streets of Dugan Hole. Is it like Streets of Bakersfield? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's twangy. <laughs> there you go. It's got that Dugan's Hole sound. There you go. That's the Dugan's Hole. <laughs> that's the that's old Merle. Yeah. Buck. There you go. That's the sound for Dugan's Hole. Windy and cold. It's got a windy hole. It's a windy. It's, it's like that episode of Family Guy 
Oh no, yeah, yeah, it was a family guy. <laughs> I don't think I know that episode. I think, uh, I think Peter spent a little time in jail. And he farts. And it makes this sound. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so she... You got that uh, tag on the stream, right? <laughs> yeah, right? The, the mature tag? Yeah, we got it. It's on there. Okay, okay, so uh, she leads you inside of her little small <laughs> cabin, you could call it. Oh, okay. Her hole. Shed. It's kind of a hole in the wall place. Um, uh, I'm glad I lots of on in the Wait a minute. I need some like I need some like uh, like uh, you know to da to da music after that. Lean to. Oh wait, no. It's for every time. Everybody, to time somebody tells a joke, we're gonna do. No, not that. How about? Oh, I don't have a good one for that. How about? Oh no, this is what we do. Here we go. There you go. Every time somebody tells a whole joke, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. A half jump. A half jump? Okay. How about. No, how about. There you go. Uh, huzzah! Yeah. Okay, so anyway, she leads you in and she brings the children in. Um, she goes, please, please come in. We, we don't have much, but you're, you're welcome to stay here for the night. She says, please, please, come in, come in. Shut the door. We'll... You shall not pass! You played that. I did. <laughs> you did? Oh, that's right. We do have sound effects people can play on the stream. <laughs> they want to. Uh, anyways, so oh, she... Bring... On the Twitch? Yeah, on the Twitch stream, you can pay bits and play sound. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty funny. Um, anyways... She leads you in, and she says, we don't have much. My husband uh, passed away a few years ago. Um, Arl, rest his soul. Says, Please come inside. We will try to bundle up as best we can. We, you know, if we, no fires tonight, no fires tonight. Yes, we know. So she's just trying to pull out some, like, extra blankets and stuff, and... Um, obviously the stove's not lit or anything because it's getting on into evening time. And, uh, yeah, so she's, she's got a little bit of, a little bit of food that she has, some fish and stuff like that because you're right near the water. So at one time this was a, you know, some of you from your history that you might know this used to be a fishing place at one time. And so as you, um, all kind of hunker down for the night in Dugan's Hole. Um, wait a minute. Can they not even have a candle lit? No, no warmth at all. No fire. No fire. Did you say that out loud? She looked at you kind of as surprised and aghast that you would question that. She, she's new to the these ways. Hmm. Okay. She is learning. We must make our sacrifices to Arl, so that she can return. Okay. So, anyways, so she um, gets you everyone all settled and everything, um, and gets you whatever little meager amount of food that she can spare. Um, she says, "Please, please, I, 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 I owe you some type of reward." Um, my, as I, as I mentioned, my husband passed away a few years ago, but he left behind one of his most prized possessions, and I believe that you should have this as a reward. A Vorpal sword. Oh. Yeah. He pulls out a Vorpal yeah! sword. <laughs> pulls out a Vorpal sword, no. Um, now she walks over <laughs> to, like, a little closet, and she pulls out these boots. Ooh. And she says... This is one of his most prized possessions. She goes, he, he, what did he call them? I don't remember. It was 
winter something. I don't, I don't remember exactly what they were, but they are. She looks about magical. Hmm. Please Neat. take, please take these as a thank you. This, this is all I have left. Some old shoes. But I, I believe you should have them. You can make some. You, actually, they look like um, these boots that have like a fur on them and stuff. They look to be actually Ooh. finely made. They look like snow boots. What are their magical properties? Well, he, he, he always said, but I didn't quite believe it, that whenever he wore them, he wouldn't be cold. Ah, whiskey boots. Whiskey yeah. boots, yeah. yes. Oh. oh, yes. Actually, let me display what they... Okay. Oh, okay. So I just basically just told you what they were. So the Winterland? Yeah. Didn't we have those in the last campaign? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, our character, our, our we have characters back in Waterdeep have those. <laughs> so some, some, um, somebody in your party recognizes them because they all look similar. And from her description, you pretty much surmise that that is what they are. She does the, she kind of described, you know, specifically what it says there on the information. So you can surmise that that's what they are. You've heard of those, you've heard of sorts, these sorts of things before, so. Shall we roll for them? <laughs> Who gets to roll Good for idea. them? What, what size, size are they? They seem pretty universal. Well, magical boots, as magic you, you may or may yeah. not know, will fit anyone's feet. Yeah, they'll fit to you. They'll fit to you. Magical. <laughs> so magical. one size fits all them. They're magical. Um, I will pass if anyone else needs them. Well, it sounds like the fairest way to do it is to roll. If you guys want to roll for it. You guys going to roll for it? Unless D100, you want to D100, <laughs> highest wins. D100. D100? Yeah, the four, the highest four of you can roll. I, I will still pass. isn't DKP. You can't get something better later because you pass now. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> All right, you guys rolling for it? Do it. Roll it. Yep. Ready? Go for it. <laughs> he gets the boots of the Winterlands. Rolling. <coughs> Roll it. Oh, there you go. D100. Yeah. Ooh. Yarzo, 95. Abar, 7. Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Carhu, 73. <clears throat> Middle of roll and wins, then... right? <laughs> I think my weighted dice worked out nicely this time. Yeah. Weighted. Your weighted virtual weighted dice? Virtual weighted, weighted dice. You, spent, you programmed all night to make that happen, right? Yep. Who else to roll still? Mecha Mecha? Mecha. 59. Uh, -huh. uh, Mecca, fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Oh, we're on a high roll. Yarzo, they're yours. Yarzo. Two candidate Yarzo gets the boots of the Winterland. I now killed Yarzo. Add those to your <laughs> sheet. I now kill him. Kill him for his boots. The boots. Okay. Take your shoes. Take your shoes. Man, this is a bad part of town. I fancy those boots for my booty. <laughs> you, might get, fancy shoes. you might get your boots stolen on the way out of town. You never know. Like from from Hook when uh yeah. he shows up. I fancy them shiny shoes for my booty. <laughs> for my booty. Oh, okay. Don't. Have a bad back. All right. So you spend the night in cold <laughs> because you're not allowed to have a fire. Except for the person who has the boots of the Winterland on, because Yarzo is pretty warm tonight. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cold. I start either. taking off like my cloak. It's... <laughs> You're just sitting there in like a t-shirt with the boots on. He's walking around in his boxers in the boots. <laughs> one person wears one boot, one person wears another boot. It doesn't, it doesn't work, work that way. Sorry, oh, okay. it comes as a set. <laughs> okay, so you got your boots. Nope. You um, anything else? You're you gonna, the, you're you're gonna, gonna night. Yarzo's full on. Full on. <laughs> what? In the middle of the night, Yarzo's pull, uh, pull, 
pulling a full on cousin Eddie outside, boxers, boots, and a bathrobe. <laughs> Get her with shitter's full. full. <laughs> <laughs> the shitter's full. Okay, so Dugan's hole is full. <laughs> Dugan's hole is full. It's full of something. Okay, so as you can have a little conversation with the uh, mom through the night, um, you're kind of talking back and forth a little bit, and the evening goes on. Um, one thing that you do find out was, was, I don't know, maybe disturbing to you as you you um, talk to her. She's, you know, she's trying to be really friendly with you and basically just telling everything about her life, you know, because she's lonely. Hello. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you find one thing interesting that you find out as you go through the night talking to her is that apparently um, her husband was a hunter and he passed away and she didn't say exactly how he passed away, but... The impression you got was <laughs> that this this uh, husband was her older brother. Oh boy. Ew. Okay. Okay. So apparently Yeah, let me just run it by run it by the old sister wife here. Yeah. <laughs> so got it. So apparently you get the impression of that's why all these people look a little bit um funky is that um apparently they are very very insular. Um, they don't leave the town, and this has been going on for quite a while. They keep to oh, themselves, that, and apparently they that, uh, really keep to themselves. All that funky love going on in Dugan's Dugan Hole. Yeah. We get it. We get it. They modeled their lives after the Tudors. We get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. So does she know anything about the, I'd like to I'm gonna sure. talk to her. Mm-hmm. About the Zentarum. Okay. What are you What are you going to ask? Have you seen anyone strange? Who's got the any? any has anyone got the coin? The, the little wood sketchy, thing. Catchy people. No, I think you I had, had it I, last, and you threw it at the. You had you it. it at the, the dwarf guy. But we had two. Someone else had one. Right. Somebody did. One of them got thrown maybe at the dwarf. Maybe, maybe Barris had it. It might have been. But we'll assume. Barris. We'll assume yeah. you. You you remembered you had one, so we'll assume one you of had us had one. Yeah. All right. Well, I yeah, I show her that. I ask if if have you seen anyone with this symbol on them, or she have you seen this symbol? She takes it and she looks at it. She goes, mm, it kind of looks familiar. I don't really know. I I've heard of the Zentarum, but mm, I don't know it. I don't think there'd be any here. I don't know why they would want to be here. I would check in Bryn Shander. That's Second a bigger, time, much I'm bigger off. town. Yeah. That's one of the biggest towns, ten towns. The ninth biggest. <laughs> it is the uh, it's the ninth remember. biggest. <laughs> the ninth <laughs> biggest. Okay. Means it's the second smallest. <laughs> All right. So, anything else for the night that you're gonna anybody gonna do anything, say anything? Um, what are you going to then do? If not, then what are you gonna do the next morning? I want to ask her if she knows anything about um, the dealings with that. Oh, what's his name? The dwarf, the dwarf candidate speaker in Goodmead. Oh, and good mean. Uh, okay, she reiterates basically what the other woman said. They don't have any dealings with good mean. Is that Rob? They don't even know what's going on in mid mean. It's cheese. Oh. They do you not. Know, they yeah. they do not like the people in good mean. Has there been anybody else that. from good mean in uh, in Hole for us? I'm sorry, say, say that the last say that one more time. Say, has anybody else from Goodmead been to Dugan's Hole in say the last month? I have not um little dwarf guy. He, I I I do not know of anyone. A tall a beard just as long. Ouchie. No, oh, I don't okay. know. I'm just trying to think if maybe she had seen him here, making his contacts with the Zentarum who came from Bryn Shander. He used this as kind of a 
right. out of the halfway way. Meeting, point. Right. Halfway point, out of the way meeting place. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't know of anyone. Um, she says people usually just come through. They don't usually stay. So everyone kind of knows everybody, obviously, in this town. Almost a little too much, apparently. They, everyone knows everyone in this town biblically. Got it. Yep. So <laughs> they're, they're pretty sure, you know, if anybody's came through that they aren't still here or that they will have left, they would have heard about it. Okay. All right. So we then go into the next morning. And so what are you going okay. to do? And bed down for the night. Bed down for the night. Sleep. Get a good night's rest. Heal up. And uh, My brother daddy can kick your uncle daddy's butt. <laughs> <laughs> you have a daddy? Yeah. No. <laughs> Got three. I just have a son, the, Papa. The, the children go, my daddy. Yeah, daddy. I, I thought, had thought I just had an uncle. uncle. My, my daddy, daddy was my mama's brother. One of the kids says. My daddy was my uncle. My daddy's his name is Steve. <laughs> Steve. He is legendary. <laughs> Steve. Oh, Steve. For Steve. <laughs> Poor Steve. For Steve. Poor Steve. For Steve. Have a drink for Steve. Steve. About. We fought an entire campaign for Steve. <laughs> yeah, just for Steve. Okay, so the glory uh, of the goblin. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are you guys gonna do next? Steve deserves better. What do you do? Did. What do you want to do? Uh, now we murder the entire town, right? I think we're gonna head yeah, to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> They're an abomination. Reds, right? Good thing I mean, you guys I don't, don't have like civilization. What? Yeah, that's true. You um, don't. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this lady if, uh, if in the future we need a place to stay if we're welcome here. She goes, "Oh, most certainly, absolutely not." Yeah. Says so this was the woman. <laughs> she smiles and says, "Absolutely not." Well, she, <laughs> she goes, "No, you can." I was gonna say with this many bodies in her little. Uh, this, this is probably the Choose warmest she's been in. No, <laughs> I had to. It was, probably, it was probably the warmest she had slept in. Probably, ages. yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think she had any more information for you. I think that was uh, pretty much it. Um, fleshed out Dugan's hole. Uh, yeah, what else? <laughs> yeah, fleshed out Dugan's hole. Oh, well, you found out that the that they're on the edge of the Red Waters. Sounds horrible. We, that. we really wore out our um, welcome. They, they don't even have an industry, you found out, in this town as you talked to her. Um, not even Scrimshaw. Um, <laughs> not even Scrimshaw. So that. ICE is buckled. There, 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 huh? there, there's not much money in ICE. There isn't. There's no money There's here. not much money in inbreeding? No, there isn't. Um, Only she, inheritance. She, the Boots of the Winterlands probably could have bought this whole town. So, um, I didn't know. Yeah. I uh, yeah, buy a town. He had buy the yeah, buy a town. Reds. You could rule this town easy, probably. Bunch of bug-eyed weirdos. <laughs> um, you notice that uh, ice or she tells you for a brothel too. Yeah, right. Turn the whole, turn the whole place into a brothel. Yeah. <laughs> brothel. Come on into Dugan's hey. home. <laughs> wow. Brothel's a family business. It's a family business. <laughs> Uh, you. She tells you yeah, that. Kurt, uh, you should just stop now. We've. I know the campaign. it. I know. Yeah, this we're is not the leaving. We're, this is the peak. You guys don't want to leave Dugan's Hole, do you? <laughs> See what happened? <laughs> this is like the. We're playing the worst a vacation place. Home. This is like the worst place in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the next town is called like Finger Point. Finger Point. We, we've peaked. <laughs> this is it. Where to um, go between Finger Point and Dugan's Hole? <laughs> the Bone Yard. <laughs> we just provide the PPE at the gate. <laughs> yeah, right? Rain jackets. Rain jackets. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to find the um, the uh, crest of Dugan's Hole here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ten towns. Uh, here we go. There's a crest. Oh. Yeah, there is actually a. Uh, they have Dugan's everybody. Don't Google Dugan's Hole. Every town <laughs> has the. Uh, has it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, oh, yeah. Underbelly. Uh, hold up. Yeah, what's really funny was the name of the the uh, adventure, and this was Hold Up. So. <laughs> <laughs> it literally was called Hold Up. 
I like how we all got to be 13 again. Yeah, that was fun. That was exciting. And anything for art, art jokes, right? I can't even yeah, find the helped. darn... I can't even find the crest of it right now. They probably just threw it up, threw it out or something. You know, I don't know. Yeah. It yeah, got wiped. Politically <laughs> correct. Okay. Oh, my. We won't worry about it right now. Oh, so. <laughs> that <totally. laughs> That's good. Uh, okay. Yeah, so anyway, she tells you, she goes on to tell you, too, that uh, she talked about the industry there. The uh, ice has buckled the shorter of its two piers. The dock is unsafe. There's two keel, ice-bound keel boats tethered to it. They've been there forever, ever since uh, Arl's winter came and froze the lake. It froze the lake and everything. So the local fishers uh, basically haul all their boats out, and they started cutting holes in the ice to catch the knucklehead trout. And that's basically what they eat. That's pretty much what you guys ate last night was knucklehead trout. Is that's basically all they have to eat. Clinton. Yeah. Um, that's their total survival. Um, and, uh, yeah, so they, but she did talk about that, you know, they always see out on the ice and out in the round in the outer areas, these eerie figures and stuff always kind of floating about and humanoid, kind of humanoid shapes. And it's very eerie, and the wind is constantly howling. So they're basically just very, like, suspicious and so forth. So you get it. So. Yeah, that's a around in its hole. <laughs> right. It just feels very cultish here, you know? So. All right. Let's bail. Because you, you, you guys are bailing out. Well, okay, what are you doing? Where are you going? Um. We're going to go to that other place. Bryn Shander? Starts with, starts with yeah. the B, what is it? Yeah, Bryn, Bryn Shander. So it's B-R-Y-N Shander. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Set you, out. You've heard about, you may have heard about this place. It is usually the, one of the first places people stop when they come to Icewind Dale because it is a, a larger town. Um, and it is about, uh, it is again about six hours traveling time. Um, as you come out of the house and you head into head out into the uh, area here, you notice that the weather seems to be right now looking like it's uh, cooperating. It doesn't look too bad. About about the same. Cold, a little windy. Nothing too bad. Um, so you may start making your way then across the the tundra, which I'm going to put the tundra music on. All right. Tundra. Oh, crossing the tundra. So are we going north, north or south? south from it is a north... Um, let's see here. It is basically like a north east. Let's put a map up here. Yeah, it is basically north east. Actually, it's almost directly north <laughs> from where you're at. I already missed Dugan's Hole. Do you? Do you really? Good times. Good times in Dugan Hole? That's oh, your favorite goodness. part of the whole adventure, right, so far? Yeah. It is, right? No one tried to kill me there. Yeah. Okay, so you're making your way. Are you doing anything in particular as you're traveling through the tundra? Keep my eyes open for wolves. Really? Why mm -hmm. is that? <laughs> I had a bad experience. <laughs> you had a bad experience? The last one ran until we couldn't trust, really, so... <laughs> Alright. I just keep going on about how comfortable I am. <laughs> you keep talking about your ooh, I feel so warm right now. So nice. Wow. You're like Legolas just walking above the snow. <laughs> oh wait. I do have that no. Excuse me. I was about to say Oh, I do have Dugan Hole's uh crest. There you go. Uh, I was just gonna send it to you. I got it right here. I just had to find it and all the stuff. So that's what it looks like. Fishy in that hole. Hey. Oh, she said it. It's very phallic. 
phallic for a whole. Oh rest. my gosh. Uh, yes. Very phallic. <laughs> wow. What? It's very phallic. Wow. Quite phallic. Something smells Let's like all get a sound bite in there. Yep. You gotta get. Everyone's gotta get one. Okay. So they were pretty reliant on fish, I guess. Uh, basically, like. completely reliant on fish. Even before. Yeah. You know, well, a lot of ice. Bone, trout, yeah. A lot of these shot, places like are. Market. Okay. So, all right. So you guys are making your way. And let's go to Bryn Shander. And you're making your way. Let me grab the map here real quick. Um... If I can find it. Alright, so. Do, 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 do. And Shander. Where are we at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. Alright, it is a large town. Uh, again, it's just going to be on the screen. I will. I can show you guys uh, one, two. It, it is on the screen. This is the town of Bryn Shander. It is a large town. And, um... Where is it? It's on the screen. Oh, it's not on your guys' screen here. Let me uh, throw a map up for you guys. It's on the uh, chat screen so that everybody can see it. Uh, let me get over here real quick. Uh, Bryn Shander, okay. There we go. Show two players. Got a game in it by looking at it. There you go. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. That looks pretty big. It's a large town. That is massive. This looks like it should be named Dugan's Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Bryn Shander. Very hole shaped. Very. <laughs> a little bit bigger. There we go. Bridge Shander. Gaping. Okay, so that's where you're headed. All right, so... Um, There's some words down at the bottom. Should huh? we not be reading those words? What words? I want to do the Foaming Mugs quest. No, you can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to do that one. No, maybe. You could choose, maybe. To, do, you could choose to do that one. Okay. Um, all right, so you're making your way to the town. Okay, let me get over here real quick. Okay. When do we approach? So as you approach, you see that the the walls of the town stand some 30 feet high. And it's built in these concentric rings uh, that you see. And um, they are defined by two concentric rings of upright wooden poles. Um, the gap between them filled with dirt and rubble. There's an outer ring of poles that rises above the top of the wall, providing a rampart for defenders stationed on the wood-planked walkway. The wall's hinged gates are 15 feet tall and look like they can be barred from the inside with iron-banded wood beams. Um, okay, so as you, you took off in the morning, I'm assuming, so you get there, it's, uh, it's about six hours. Um, but it does get dark a little quicker here than normal. Um, you notice that late as you approach and you're coming from the east gate, because that's basically the way to go um, from where you're coming down the east way, um, you notice that they are preparing to shut the gates as you approach. Wait. Yeah, we call out. Okay. So they we call out the guards. They, they kind of look at you and, well, hurry inside then, the, the guards say. We're going to shut the gates for the night. Hmm. Okay. okay. Make haste. So they bring you inside. Ah, you fools. And there are uh, a lot of people moving about. This is a pretty, you know, large, pretty large town, pretty boisterous. Um, you um, you kind of walk inside and you, you really don't know where to go. I mean, there's several different directions that you can go. The buildings are all packed very tightly together. The streets um, are, you know, not straight. They're going off in different directions. Um, 
you look about, there's, like I said, there's people moving about here and there. All covered up like normal to this cold. Um, yeah, so that's basically where you are at the moment. What do you do? Uh, I can rest. Yeah, I was say ask the guards that are at the gates that we just came through if they if there is a tavern or an inn that they can recommend for some weary travelers. For travelers, you are not from here. We just came out of no. Dugan Pull, and man, are we tired. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Took off. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you wash before you came in? <laughs> Did you use hand sanitizer? There was none available. Early. Really? Yeah, they don't believe in that there. They start laughing but when you say Dugan's Hole, of course. Now we're looking for something to sanitize our insides. Why would you, one of the guards says to you, why would you have went to bleach. Dugan's Hole? Quick question. Is there another town? I asked you a question. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. Is, Is there, there another town? town? Similar to this one, east or west of this place, considering we're north of the hole, Dugan's Hole. <laughs> he kind of looks at you. With similar shape and size. And shakes his head. <laughs> well, just move on. He's just laughing. He's just move on. I don't care why you were there. I don't well, want to know why you were there. We saved a couple of the the kids from the town from a frost giant that was terror uh, that had some uh, winter wolves that was terrorizing their town, and so we just we returned the kids, and then we were on our way here. So he kind of looks at you, kind of blank faced. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, I would tell your story then over at the North Look Tavern. They may want to hear that in there. It seems point. very far fetched. <laughs> The Blue Oyster. The Blue Oyster Bar. <laughs> the Blue Oyster Bar. <laughs> We're just exploring the area. We're here for the memories. Oh, the memories. Right, right, right. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so, North Flick Tavern is where they tell you to go for travelers. Travelers Tavern. Okay, so they give you the directions. And we will make our way to Northlick Tavern. Let me Northlick. Northlick. Let me uh, grab our way downtown. Grab all your characters here and move you over. Just take a second. While you're doing that, I'm gonna grab something to drink. Yeah, it'll be just a short intermission here while I move all the characters over to the tavern. If you're watching on the stream, I think the they all need to drink. After being in Dugan's Hole all night. <laughs> It'll drive you to drinking. It'll drive you to drink. Car who? I'm not grabbing Do any. I have beer out in the fridge? I should go grab a beer. Yeah. You guys probably wouldn't. What? Beer. What? what? I PBR. I don't have a beer. PBR, right? No, it's, it? a, it's, like, it's like Miller Ultralight, I think. Miller <laughs> <laughs> Ultralights? Actually, they're not too bad. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab one. I thought you were gonna say PBR for sure. You should say you'll be right back. Uh, there's only five of you, right? Correct. Okay, I'm only grabbing those people to move them. I'm not gonna move everybody. Everybody else has to stay in Dugan's Hole. Yeah. Desmond and Rick are way back at the tower. At Dugan's Hole. You're still standing there. All right. I'll get you guys all set up here. The chat gets to see it before you guys do. Now, hopefully the characters are the right size when I put them in here. Yes, they are. Sweet. Well, we are going to... Okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay, we need some Bryn... Okay, you guys are all outside the tavern. And we are going to go over here and get Bryn Shander set up. Come on. Come on. It is daytime. Okay. 
streets of Bryn Shander. There we are. There we go. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Low calories. Very nice. Okay, streets of Ban Bryn Shander are up. Cheers, gents. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, you're walking through Bryn Shander. And I'm going to now move you guys over. You ready? I was going to say, I don't, I don't see anything new. Yeah, I'm still at the ice palace. Oh, I know. I'm going to move you over right now. You're still in Dugan's Hole? What? No. We got <laughs> stuck. Yeah, get you did. Stuck. Ew! Okay, now you're... There you go. Oh. You were at the North Look Tavern. What did that guy just say on the... Interesting. <laughs> Hearing the noises from the city here. Okay, so... You guys are... Do you see the sign on the outside of the place? It says right over here. It says North Look Tavern. Let me get over to my information. Oh, God. Ooh, man. Are we supposed to be able to see everything? Can you? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, no, you're fine. All right, so... Um, as you're approaching the North Lake Tavern, you see um, these three uh, dwarves that are kind of standing out here, and they, they see you walking up, and they start to approach you. Dwarves? Dwarves, yeah. So you, you, you can obviously tell that they're dwarves, even though the description says, three stocky figures bundled in <laughs> cold, we <laughs> cold weather garb stumble towards you they have sh they have snowshoes slung over their backs and ice picks fastened to their belts and two of them have thick beards so you can assume that they're dwarves the third uh, holds up a gloved hand and says through a thick wool scarf in a raspy voice well met i'm haruna and these are my friends Korux and storm we need your help and you look capable we've been looking and watching as people are going in. You're the most capable ones we've seen so far. Well, why would we help you? Well, there could be great reward in it for you. Sure. Okay. You look like you're new in town. You look like you're looking for work. We've never seen you before. What kind of work? Well, let's go in and have a drink. And we can explain it to you. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. All right, you're buying. We will do that. So. <laughs> we will do that. Free beer. I was gonna say they're Free buying. Beer. This is gonna be fun. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> get it. Have they seen how much milk they can drink? Yeah. <laughs> if you can outdrink us, then uh, you know. Let's get. Oh. Okay. They're all grabbing a table. Everybody yeah. else. Go ahead and move on yeah, in the tavern. Like this, I miss. I was say, Dan, it's times like this that I miss uh, Storm from your campaign, the Minotaur Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I can outdrink you, really? Let's do it. Yeah, I would not make stupid bets like that. <laughs> okay, tavern. We switch over to the tavern. I mean, yes, good idea. Okay, tavern coming up. <laughs> there we go can you hear the tavern yep. yeah car who you staying outside nope. Join us, car who. sorry my thing hadn't focused okay <laughs> i was like looking at the corner like what the heck so as you walk in the barkeep says to you Good evening, sir. A round of drinks on these gentlemen here. On <laughs> these gentlemen. <laughs> Looking for food? And I, and I nod, yeah. It's not even spoiled. 
I nod towards the dwarves, indicating that they're going to pay. They, they, they nod to the barkeeper. <laughs> All right. Car who walks in and he says, well "Is that you?" Yeah. <laughs> God, that was funny. Okay. A full squeaky. No, it, she did a clapping thing. Okay, so the bartender uh, went off after that, and he's gonna get some food for you guys, or drinks, drinks and food, or drinks. You didn't say food, just drinks. Okay, got it. Food too. Food. Food too. In the menu. Are the dwarves going to feed us? If they're buying. Okay. <laughs> this Do they have anything vegan? The... Do they have anything vegan? What the hell is vegan? happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bar, you're probably vegan, too. <laughs> you vegan? Do you have flatbread pizza? <laughs> we, have, we have the finest flatbread pizza. Direct from uh, Waterdeep. Oh. oh don't, don't eat that. Tony, that I've heard of that pizza. Leonardo DiGiorno's yeah, don't special. <laughs> uh, don't eat it. It's bad news. It, it's, it's made by an ogre. <laughs> by an ogre. <laughs> yeah. Poor and quality. I don't think he wash. I don't know if he washes his hands. <laughs> it's like the Little Caesars of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was hoping to get the Little Caesars uh, sponsorship. Yeah. Right. Eventually. <laughs> now we're not. No, now it'll just be a, the only sponsorship. Now it'll just be a copyright uh, violation. <laughs> we'll get a copyright strike from Twitch. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. We have none of the logos on here. We're good. Okay, so. Anymore. Anymore, yeah. Okay, so uh, the dwarves sit down. They order the drinks. And they start pulling off some of their clothing. You know, their, they have, their faces were all wrapped up. Whoa. You notice that immediately. The dwarf that was talking to you originally, you notice is a female. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Well, hello. Hello to you. Different brothel than I've really ever been to. But <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> All right. So. That, so the bartender uh, brings over the drinks. And. Um, hey, the magician stopped playing. No, okay. <laughs> You're the okay, All right? The DJ is getting her song ready. <laughs> what did he say? He said. Have at it. <laughs> he brought That's you food. <laughs> Have at it. Okay. Oh, that's how he tells us to eat. Okay. Yeah. So he lays some food down and some drinks, and you guys begin to to eat. And the the so the the dwarf she says. Here she goes. Okay. My name is Haruna. Says, she says, we work in a mine located in the valley at the base of Kelvin's Karn. The mine is owned and operated by Clan Battlehammer. And it provides most of the iron for the smithies in Tin Town. Have you heard of Clan Battlehammer? Of course we have. Have I? Oh, roll a knowledge check. <laughs> How about out of game? Yes. Okay. Out of game, yes. Like out Bruno of... Battlehammer? Yes. Why, yes, Bruno Battlehammer. I was going to say, wait, wasn't Raglan, like, distantly related? <laughs> very, very distantly. But he was yeah, a stone but... smasher. Yeah, what kind of you... knowledge check is that? I was going to say, but uh, history. History. I was going to say, but... <laughs> You were enough to wield his weapon. True. <laughs> so anybody out there in the chat, do you know who uh, Clan Battle Armor is? <laughs> if you've read the Dritz books and that kind of thing, you will know. Ooh, 20 Yarzo. Nice. I got a 21. I accidentally rolled twice. Oh, you did? Okay. 21? I oh. accidentally double-clicked. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's better than Oh, I see that. Yeah, 21, 20. Okay. So, you both know. You both definitely know. Um, it's a very famous uh, clan of uh, dwarves, and there's a lot of history behind them, especially in Icewind Dale and in this area. Um, very well known, very prestigious um, clan, and uh, 
Yeah. So the, these three dwarves apparently uh, work in a mine located in the valley at the base of Kelvin's Karn, which is where uh, a lot of that stuff happened with Clan Battleheimer. So, um, so let's see. Uh, okay. Um, you notice that when Haruna removes her face thing and all that as she's sitting there talking to you, you notice that her, her right ear is gone and you notice that she is missing also a couple of fingers. Um, the other dwarf, she introduces the other dwarf. She, this is Korax. Okay, so Korax, that she just uh, introduced to you, he stares in silence and he's not saying a single word. But you notice that he has lost three fingers and he is missing his nose. And it looks like it's kind of blackened around the area where this stuff's happened. So you can see that I mean, somebody can do a medicine check, actually. Do a medicine check. Chamber. Yeah, that 12, though. Yeah, okay. I hate when you feel what you're good at. <laughs> Ooh, Abar. So, Abar. So you immediately know that they've, they've probably lost this because of frostbite. Um, one thing you notice, and then she introduces the other uh, dwarf that's there. She goes, this is Stom. S-T-O-M. Stom. You notice that as he was walking, when he was outside, one of the things you noticed is you were starting to walk inside. You were following him. He kept nervously looking about, and especially up in the air. He kept looking up in the air nervously as he was walking inside. He seems to be not as bad as he's gotten in here. He kind of looked around a little bit, but he, he's not... Not like he was when he was outside. He was kept looking up in the air nervously as he was walking in. Okay, that's just some of the things you notice about them as they walk in and sit down. Okay, so she begins to speak. Well, we're the survivors of a group of dwarves tasked with delivering a sled of iron ingots to Bryn Shander. A yeti surprised us and killed a member of our group. <clears throat> And her voice is very raspy, and she keeps coughing. The rest of us fled as the Yeti tore Obok, limb from limb. <clears throat> now we need someone to go back and get the sled for us. As payment, we offer each of you a gemstone worth 50 gold pieces. The friendship of the dwarves of Icewind Dale can also be a boon in these harsh times especially those related to Clan Battlehammer. You'll need snowshoes to make the trip in good time. And we no, have, no, no. And we have those for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you. You sit there and you just put your feet up on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> up on the table. <laughs> As he's you taking his jacket here. off. And... You have your jacket like, Aren't you cold? <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's not me. So... What say you? Will you help us in this? Gain the favor of Clan Battlehammer and a 50 gold piece gem each of you. It's How far is this sled? Huh? Oh. Uh, let's see here. Let me check um, my map. <laughs> hold on one minute. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah. They, they kind of pull out a little, like, drawn map of the area actually put it on the table and they say well let's see here she says um so she points on a place in the map and she shows where kelvin's karn is at and she shows this is Bryn shander this is kelvin's karn the sled is halfway between Bryn shander and kelvin's karn it is right here in the middle of the tundra does it need, like, livestock to pull it? Repairs? Well, I'm not sure if that if our our uh, beasts were there to continue on. Uh, I I'm sure that's that probably probably took them, but but it you can you can easily uh, pull it. Okay, that's what I was curious. I mean, As he looks over at I a don't bar. mind. This seems like a good deal. When you guys are just too injured to take it. 
take care of it or what? Yeah, we were we were, we we were just uh, we we just knew that we could not take these. We are we are miners. We are not fighters. Do they have any identifying markings or like crests or you know showing that they're actually from the clan? Uh, you can do a uh, investigation. Hey, hey. That's as good as I would have expected. Did it pop up? Yeah. 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 You don't see anything. They don't have any Sounds specific markings. me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. It does seem almost too good to be true. Are you saying that out loud? No. I didn't say that. Okay. But you don't see anything. I mean, they. I mean, you can do an insight to see if uh, you know. It's up to you to see if maybe they're. If you're suspecting that they're not telling the truth, you can do an insight. I feel like I did my investigation. Somebody else wants to. 21 on an insight. Okay. You you think that they are absolutely truthful. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Then... Yeah. I always trust Evar. It's good, good. He says 50 gold pieces can go a long way in Britain Shander. 50 gold pieces each. 50, a 50 gold piece gem, excuse me. Gem each. Because er, 50 er, gold pieces er. would be pretty heavy to carry around. Much easier than gems. <laughs> Maybe for you. <laughs> 50 gold piece each. This is how serious we are about this. We have okay, to long, we, we uh, have to get this iron ore to Kelvin's Carn. How long's the walk to Kelvin's Carn? Uh, okay, good question. Um, midway between, let's see what it says. Distance wise, um, it's about. Let's see. It's just a, probably about. Three hours from here. Three weeks. On foot, obviously. <laughs> Are they, do they want us to take the iron to this city we're in now, or take it? Um, bring it. Well, no, they want you to bring it here. Yeah. So it's coming from Kelvin's car to here. To Bryn Shander, right. Correct. Okay. So we got a six hour. No, no, a six. A three hour. One and a half there, one and a half back, roughly, if it's halfway. Yeah. The hour's there. Yeah. It's nighttime yeah. though right now, isn't it? And yes. Being close. Yes. But you can travel at night if you want. <laughs> nope. I think we wait. Oh, uh, why not? Because <laughs> there's a continental breakfast. <laughs> it's continental breakfast. <laughs> wait a minute. Know Let's check with the bartender. Is it? Ask the bartender how much the, the suite is. The suite? Ooh, a suite. A big room in the back. Ten gold for the sweet. Yeah. If you look. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ten gold it is for a sweet. <laughs> How much is the cheaper room? Rooms? Cheap rooms. That's it. Okay, I've only got ten gold, Dang. so I don't know if I'm really staying in the sweet. These people. What's that? If we can pool resources. We can probably all fit in the suite. Or That's you want true. the suite all yourself? <laughs> uh, it depends. Is there any hot ladies in here in this in this club? <laughs> you don't really you know. You don't really see a lot of people in here right now. As a matter of fact, do you think uh, what's it, the woman who's giving us this job is attractive? 
<laughs> well, you were in Dugan's Hole, so anything's better than that. So. Ching <laughs> <laughs> oh, ching. Uh, oh, I have to give myself the important storm. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we wouldn't have a lot of places to sleep, though, if we all try to get the suite. And <laughs> he's just wanting. He's just wanting his own room. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I don't. Know, I can't afford it. <laughs> I have to sell my boots. Don't sell those boots. Well, no, I'm not going to. Those boots will save your life. Well, there's five of us, right? So if we all chip in two gold, we can all stay in the suite. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is, we each get our own bed if we each buy our own individual rooms for the same cost. True. How how many does a suite sleep? Well, let's go see. If it's a big room on the map, it's only got one double wide 17. bed. One double bed. <laughs> yeah, that's the suite. I don't, I, it might be okay. a cow king. Well, not... You guys could all get on that, maybe. I don't know. Hey, Oh, we need a little more mead over here. <laughs> a little more mead. Yeah. Don't you have a, a four-bed family suite? Actually, yes. You don't have the, oh, yeah, I actually, see that in the top corner. How much is that one? Actually, yes. Okay, how much is that one? Four. No, I'm taking. The two, he, he could do that for... Ooh. Two gold? I've got rooms available. If you're interested. Just two gold, please. Two gold, please. Each or for the whole room? Um each. Oh, certainly. <laughs> uh, if it's each then <laughs> individual rooms is <laughs> I think it's funny that <laughs> the biggest, biggest, biggest part of the session is what rooms are we going to stay in? How much are they going to be? <laughs> right, we have to haggle. We're gonna maximize our efficiency here on the room selection. <laughs> you guys pick whatever room you want. It might make a difference week. in how much how much rest you, you actually get. Right? Yeah, yeah you never know. Yeah. You never know. I, I'm, I'm taking the suite, Kurt. Are you taking the suite? I hate to say it, but I have seen how twenty gold. <laughs> Be right back. All right. I was going to say, I have 20 Wait, gold. <laughs> so. Yes. No, I, I was going to say, I hate to say it, but I, I've seen how Robert travels at night. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. You don't do that anymore? Not anymore? <laughs> no. Travel. It's an unconscious mode of travel. Yep. All right, so we decided what our, our uh, sleeping arrangements are tonight. Yeah, I'll take my own room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get a two, two gold piece single room. Yep. All right, pay your so gold. I have a nine gold. You guys do that. How do you uh, remove it? You just, oh, right here. Look yeah. That. Pay gold. Go ahead and pay your gold, and then. Uh, all right. Get your get your room. Sleep for the night. Is that what you're planning on doing now? Sleeping. You doing anything else right now, or what was the bathtub? <laughs> Desk. Did you pay? Did you really? Sweet? You really yeah. got the sweet? Oh man! Yeah. You bought the sweet. <laughs> now I have to pull this up on the big, chat. I okay. am a big man. <laughs> okay, okay, viewers, my players like comfort. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting their rooms here. I was gonna say, I, I don't buy, I don't buy armor, I don't buy weapons. You buy sweets. You buy sweets. I get Wait. a bathtub. We got a few. The no, bathtub. No slots. Sorry, this is not the, uh, not the giant mullet. If I play long enough, I might get comped. <laughs> you might get comped. <laughs> There's a, a bathtub. Yeah, that one has a bath. It's a sweet ability yeah. to heat it. You got, a, and a fireplace. you got a fireplace, no. a desk, you got, you got everything in here. Yeah. A bathtub, privy. You don't have to go outside to go to the bathroom. Nope. You're ready. 
There's all these other individual rooms here. They don't look bad. Just, you know, they just a to, room. They get to shit inside like a civilized person. <laughs> <laughs> we get to shit inside, too. We just have to go outside first. <laughs> all right. What are we doing here? <laughs> All right, if we're done, if there's nobody else in this room interesting looking to talk to? Um, do a perception check. I shall. Whoops. Where is it? There it is. Nope. I guess that didn't work. No. Anybody else? Nope, I'm already in my room. I'm heading off. 18. Okay. Um, you, there are some people that um, kind of look interesting as you move about. There's, you know, several different patrons in the room. Um, what are you doing? Start a bar fight. Do it. Any card games going on? Oh um, yeah, actually, there are a few people that look like they're playing some dice. They're not playing cards, but they're playing some dice. Ooh! All right, I uh, go watch them. <laughs> There's some people rolling dice at a table. Mm -hmm. One person at the table has a screen in front of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's miniatures right in the middle. Yeah. They're playing humans and houses. Humans and houses. <laughs> okay. So actually, there's this table here people are sitting at right here but you're actually saying sitting right next to them what are you doing i just go over and observe the game for a little bit okay so they immediately look at you and they say would you like to join oh play 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 what's the buy-in oh we're just having a friendly game just to pass the time Friendly. Uh huh. Sure. Are you new in town? <laughs> I maybe. Okay. <laughs> Man, I wish I didn't go to bed now. Right. You can always get all the fun. All right. Sit down. Well, it's like when you go to Vegas and you try to go to sleep and you go, you know what? The casino's still open. I'm going to go back down. <laughs> going down. <laughs> you know, the casino's it's open. always open in Vegas. It's always open, right. Yeah, that's the problem. It's always open. It's always yeah. open. And you forget what time it is. But eventually you got to say, Roger, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> Roger, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, that's when you that's pass them on the hallway. Go back up. Yep. With a handful of money. Okay, so you sit down and talk to them, and they're just yeah. having a friendly... Got a handful of money and a, and a strawberry daiquiri in the shape of a... Yeah. Uh, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Uh, <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Yep. Okay, so you sit down and you start playing with them and talking to him and so roll a d10 that sucked okay um <laughs> so you're sitting there and as you're talking to him what they they they're just having a little chit chat with you you know asking questions you know about where you're from and so forth um, one of the things they tell you, because you're you, you're kind of asking a little bit about the town yourself, I'm sure, they say, well, one of the people saying says, well, in Bryn Shander, some dwarves will pay good money to anyone who can find a lost shipment for them. What type of lost shipment? Well, I heard it was some iron ingots. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Have they asked very many people on this? We just heard that they were kind of asking around, looking for somebody who might be capable. Five or six people. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Do they know who, uh, what happened to the shipment at all? Yeah, we don't. We don't really know anything about it. this. Is it's just something that we heard in passing. We thought you might be interested. The plants. Interesting. Anyone? I'll I'll pass it on to my party other party members. Okay. Are you going to continue to play with them for a while, or just move on? Or? Yes. Okay. So roll a d10. Ten. One. Okay. 
so as they're they're chit chatting with you, you're, they're starting to get a little bit more familiar with you. They start talking about the town a little bit, and they say, "Well, in Bremen, fishers are being terrorized by a monster that lives in Mare Dualden. Strange that none of the other towns on that that lake have been harangued by the monster." What, what type of monster do you say? I don't know. Oh, it's we <laughs> we don't nobody knows. This is what we heard. We were coming. Coming into town, we heard they were having a, a little bit of a problem there in Bremen. Where is, where is this town, town located? located? They'll, they'll describe to you where it's at. Oh. So anyways. So that's basically as you chit-chat with them and play a little game with them. That's pretty much the only thing that really stands out in their conversation were those two things. Okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyone else? Doing anything before you go to sleep? I'm going to bath. Already long rest. Already sleeping. Long rest. Okay, take a long Taking rest. Taking a bath. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, uh, all right. Um, so one of the thing you do notice is you're moving about, getting ready to sleep for the night. Okay. You're walking through the. Uh, through the uh, the bar, the tavern. Um, you do find out, too, as you're down there interacting with these people, too, that the inn's proprietor's name is Scram Sax. <laughs> He's from Dugan's Hole. He's from Dugan's Hole. <laughs> no. Just outside. <laughs> hey, Scram. Adjacent. He's hole adjacent. Hole adjacent. Yeah. Um, he is a, he, you find out he's a retired sellsword also. And he, basically, this place is kind of a place where a lot of adventurers and different people come through. This is, this place is a little bit more rowdier than some of the other places in town because there's a lot of travelers coming in and out looking for work and jobs and, you know, whatever. And so um, it's kind of, that's became his specialty is he caters to those people. Um, not so much necessarily to the people that are living here, but people are just passing through. Um, and whatnot. Um, sometimes he, you, you've heard heard from these people too. One other thing is he sometimes um, cuts a break for customers who are between jobs. So he's a pre pretty nice guy apparently. Um, he allows them there to sometimes stay on credit, um, that kind of thing. Um, you also notice as you're you're uh, moving through the bar, getting ready to maybe go bed down for the night. Um, you see what looks like a. Uh, a stuffed and mounted plaque above the hearth in the common room. And it looked... plaque? A, yeah, a plaque of a creature. I don't know if I can get a picture of it here. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can actually get it here. Is it a blump? No, it actually looks like a fish of some type. Um, uh, do you do the hole? No. It would be a whole lot cooler if it was a flump. <laughs> if it was a flump, it would be cool. All right. Let's see. Uh, ten towns. Okay. Bremen. Okay, wait. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I have it right here. I don't have one handy. Okay. Well, anyways, it... It says on the uh, there's a there's a name underneath it. It's like this big fish with a big big head on it. Um, it's kind of a reddish colored fish, but it has a, just a strange like overly large head, and it says Old Bitey as a name mm. underneath it. Old Bitey. Bitey. <laughs> yeah. Old yeah. The Old Bitey. Can I uh, ask the barkeep the story behind this? So he so kind of he kind of winks at you. He says. Go up and take a closer look. Please tell me to start okay. singing. Please tell me to start singing. So you go up there. <laughs> it, yeah. Well, how did you know that? Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he kind of winks at you. Yeah, go ahead and take a second or take a closer look. And you said you're going to go up there. Okay, so he says, uh, as soon as you walk up, the fish starts to sing. No. Yeah. Wow. It says. <laughs> There's a place I like to go, farther up the river's flow. Where it is, I do not know. Must be under all that snow. <laughs> wow. 
We've peaked. <laughs> Tell me you wrote that, Kurt. I didn't That's write that. Book, right? I didn't write that as <laughs> in the book. I, and I'll I'll post a picture later of the of the, the wizard's material of the fish. But that is awesome. I thought it, I thought for sure it would show it over here in the thing, but um, I just really want to show the picture of it. Does it wiggle around? It actually, uh, yeah. It actually, it 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 kind of snaps at you too when when you got close. It actually moves. So it's, it's a big a, mouth Billy Bass, and it just starts. Yeah, it's a big mouth Billy Bass. Oh god, I gotta find it. Let's see. This may be the most well-written adventure. Oh, here it is. We've come across. It is very good. Okay, here it is right here. I got a picture of it. I found it. There you go. It is really fast. Old Bitey. Old Bitey. <laughs> oh, man, people dropped out of the stream, and then you get to see Old Bitey. Too bad. <laughs> I like how it's like got to be able to click on it. Side. Old Bitey. Adventures. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so that was old bitey. Okay, are you done now? <laughs> you going to sleep? Yeah, I guess so. All right. All right. So, if anybody going to do anything else uh, tonight, or is that it? Head out to find the thing. Hard to top that. I know, I'm right? Try to steal old bitey. You steal old bitey on the way out? I don't know. Right, roll, roll a history check on old bitey. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Actually, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> old bitey led. Actually, actually, if you want to roll a history check on old bitey, you can, assuming that you're doing that. You're like asking people about it, maybe in the bar. Go ahead and do a history check. Oh, nice. There you go. <laughs> nice. You were so curious. Okay, so <laughs> so the uh, the deal is that um, yeah, it's stuffed and mounted on a plaque there in the common room. Common room. It's a battle scarred knucklehead trout named Old Bitey. So that's now you know what a knucklehead trout looks like. Um, <laughs> let's see, knucklehead trout named Old Bitey who pulled many a fisher into the icy depths of Mare Dwalden before it was finally caught by a human <laughs> before by caught by a human rogue. Named Kintyre, 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 and her companion, a human druid who called himself the Maverick. <laughs> wow. Killed a bunch of fishermen. Yeah, they hauled Old Bitey to the North Look in the hope of having it cooked for them, but Scram Sacks bought it from them and had it stuffed instead. So, so how, how much did, did Old Bitey weigh? weigh? I don't know. It must have been pretty big. It must be really large. It doesn't say exactly how big it is, but it's pretty large. Well, the knucklehead traps I know are really big in the water. They're they're pretty big. We're talking like uh, what's that fish that's really um, this went blank. Uh, have to pull like a sturgeon, yeah, like a sturgeon, yeah, like a sturgeon. Wait, we're talking. This should be an episode of River Monsters. <laughs> River Monster, yeah. But apparently, too, you found out from your high history check there, too, that some years later, some prankster wizard cast a spell on it. So it snaps and anybody comes within it, and it at random will sing songs. So. <laughs> That's the kind of wizard I want to be. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Right. So that was, that's old bitey. Old bitey. One of the best parts of the whole campaign. Yeah, we're done now. We, we Now we've peaked. You've peaked now. It's <laughs> the best part of the whole thing. I thought game. Dugan's Hole was the top. <laughs> That's the bottom. Okay. <laughs> That's, oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. I got, wait a minute now. I got to give you a... Do it. All right. Or... <laughs> Even better. Okay. All right. <laughs> So we're heading out in the morning to go figure this out. Yep. All right. Yeah. Let's see. We're nine o'clock. We can hit the first part of it and come to a uh, maybe a little bit depending on what happens here. Uh, End on a cliffhanger. End on a cliffhanger as usual. It'll just be okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay.
French Hunter. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, so you head out, I'm assuming, the next day and um, head in the direction that the dwarves have pointed you. Um, um, uh, shoot, we never asked the dwarves where to meet them. Oh, they'll be here. They'll be at the North Look. That's where they're staying. Let me get everybody together so I can move you on the map. Real quick, grab everybody. Where, uh -oh. Good music. It is, right? Right. This is rocking. These guys are... Mm -hmm. Stone in line! <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's, a journey. it's a journey. Yeah, they're journey. We're on a journey. Ooh, see, that's that's it's it's mm. all it's all connected. Makes sense. <laughs> it does. Okay, let me put you. Where are we at here? Okay, let me go over here. All right. I'm gonna put you. I'll stick you on the map here in just a second. Um, Here real quick. Okay, just don't scroll up the map yet when I put you in. I'm gonna put you in. Oh, I grabbed one of the patrons by accident. <laughs> They're coming a, with us now. You have a random guy from the bar that went with you. <laughs> like he's like sitting there going, What what happened? Like, oh, I want I want a gem <laughs> worth fifty gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm going too. Okay, well you go out in front and scout ahead for us. How about that? <laughs> First line. Yeah. All right. Wait. Wear this red shirt, though. It's Steve Jr. <laughs> All right. So we're going to check how the weather is here. Or the, uh, uh, the name is Steve. You guys are good on the weather. I think the chat is seeing where you're at, but nobody, you guys aren't seeing it yet. But we're going to do this first. Okay. All right. So um, you get through the tundra. It, you caught a little bit of bad weather, uh, but not, not horribly bad. Um, let me get the, uh, this here, this real quick over here. Okay. And yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Searching for the sled. Here we go. Yeah. You're walking through the snow. Okay, the weather did cooperate with you again, luckily. Um, so you go a few, a couple hours, two or three, two or three hours. Or it's going to be about two and a half hours. You travel along, um, and then you crest this, a snow-covered ridge, and you see a frozen, um, dismembered corpse in the gully in front of you. Snow covers some of the gory bits. But the headless torso and severed limbs are visible. You see tracks in the snow all around the corpse and the telltale grooves in the snow left behind by a sled that has been hauled away. Great. I still see the bar. Did it change? No, you haven't changed yet. What, is, uh, what kind of creature does this severed person look like? Uh, do a, um, oh boy, do a oh, like medicine. Yeah, medicine check. Yeah, it would have to be medicine. History. The history. What was this creature? What was he? What is the history of this person? You don't know. My rolls are so bad for medicine, it's terrible. Well, yeah, okay. it was a plus four. That's your thing. Okay. So you think that maybe it looks like the pieces of a dwarf. Okay, so this uh, might be our... Very short. Um, and as you take a closer look at it, if you all take a closer look at it, as Mecca kind of points it out, um, you notice that... Um, uh, yeah, that she says it's probably to a dwarf. You can see that it looks like his arms are gone, and most of his internal organs are gone. Um and the head's gone. <laughs> so there's just like bits and pieces of him that are left there. Are there a short legs? torso. Huh? Are there, are there legs? legs? There's like one piece of a leg left. Um, 
also said there's tra yeah go ahead i'm sorry you said that there's you said there's tracks in the snow and yes. like the grooves from the slave yeah. being pulled away yes you do the it tracks yeah do a survival check i was gonna say trying to determine what they are yeah survival you know, wisdom, if they, wisdom if check. they actually are yeti yeah survival wisdom check let's say with my background weird okay. i would know what a actually yeti looks like. you actually um uh, okay you can determine that that the uh that they are fresh made okay the tra uh, the tracks around the corpse are fresh made they're probably about made in the past hour and they look like well let's see wait let me go back here you see one large set of uh potentially some tracks but they look like they they, they look like they've been kind of erased so they're a little bit older tracks that look like they've been erased. You can't tell, really tell what those are, okay? But the tracks that are there that are more visible that you can see happened, looks like in the past hour, made by what looks to be a half dozen small humanoids wearing snowshoes. The tracks lead south. Those damn dwarves. Well, it's several, too. It looks like... Uh, and south is in the direction of... Someone's Karn, or it's headed the the opposite directions. So you're coming into it. You're heading. Um, you know, you're heading south. Okay. Or no, you're heading. Okay. So. Okay. I just don't know which direction Kelvin's Karn is in relation to Brinchander. Oh, it's north. Kelvin's Karn is north of Brinchander. Right. Yeah. And you're heading. You guys are heading. Um, are heading from Bryn Shander to Kelvin's. It, we're going, Kelvin's we're heading north then. Oh, you're heading north. So that means the tracks went back the way we came. No, uh, let me let me reverse that then. Let me see here. Okay. Not that. The opposite. The opposite. Right. Turn it around. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it looks like, so it looks like the tracks went back it. to uh, Kelvin's Cairn. They didn't. They didn't. They're heading south. I mean, uh, north. I'm sorry. Okay. So. <laughs> West. It's heading back. It's heading back the way that north it's... east. No, it's kidding. no, you're you're heading in the direction. Um, you're heading in the direction. You came upon this. They're heading the way you're going. So the, the way you're going, you're going north. They're heading that way. Whatever way you think. Heading opposite of that. Heading towards Kelvin's car. Sorry, got it. Okay, so they're heading. Okay, so it looks like that. It it looks like the sleigh was taken back to Kelvin's car. Karn. Well, back that direction. Possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe potentially. Not. Potentially. So, anyways, a half, a, do half a dozen small humanoids wearing snowshoes. And, and obviously and the pulling yeah, the sleigh. Right, correct. All right, well, let's, let's head that direction. All right. Unless, should we pickpocket this uh, dismembered dead guy? Did you say pickpocket a dead guy? Well, he might have some some fifty gold piece rubies on his pocket. His I, I don't think you have to sneak that well. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I mean, I would search his body. Yeah. There's 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 like nothing left. There's like um, you find actually a uh, the only thing you do find is a one of the ice pick things like the other dwarves had. Ice picks. That's it. Everything else is just like ripped up, and there's nothing else. Okay. All right, let's head off. All right. All right. Okay. In I'm the gonna, direction. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you guys into the map now. Okay, you're in the map. And you're heading north. All right, there you are. Can you see it? Oh, I see what has the. Yeah, I see what I think is our. There we are. Found I us. I see like a bunch of goblins or something. <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see that in a second. <laughs> oh, the, there we are. You're, I you're, see you guys in the white. Yeah, you guys are walking walking ahead. Um. Okay, so this is what you see. You come up upon this. Okay. So you're you're following these tracks as you're going, and then um, so 
you now see what you see there, okay, which is quite a little distance ahead of you. Um, actually, 5, 10, 50, yeah, about that's, that's the correct distance. You kind of come over a little ridge. The creatures you've been following appear to be goblins based on their stature. All six of them groan, grunt, and curse loudly as they haul the bulky sled toward what appears to be a 20-foot tall wagon parked in the snow. Harnessed to this conveyance are two roaring polar bears that don't look happy. <laughs> so if you scan polar up bears. so if you scan up the map, go ahead and roll up there, you can see all this. So just a little ways up there, you see the goblins oh. all hauling the uh, sled. And then a distance beyond that, quite a bit of a distance beyond that, you see some goblins and this big giant like wagon being hauled by two polar bears. Did you say it was a 20 foot tall wagon? 20 foot tall wagon. Gee. Parked in the snow, harnessed to the harnessed to two roaring polar bears that don't look happy. And there's Job some of the goblins wagon. goblins standing up on the on the wagon trying to urge them along, but you see behind that the uh, sled, obviously the obviously the sled of the uh, Get this over here, like that. The sled of the uh, dwarfs, dwarfs with that? the ingots on it, and that's where you're at. Okay. Do they see us approaching? Let me see here. Uh, yeah, you're 120 feet behind the sled. Goblins are 120 feet farther. The goblins' wagon is 120 feet farther still. Um, they seem to be distracted, and you ha you immediately know you have surprise on them because they don't see you. You walk up over the ridge, you see they'll see all this, and it looks like you have surprise on them. Okay. Okay. You said we're 120 feet away. Yeah, you're a hundred. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly that on that map. It's probably. No, I'm, it's seventy from me to the guy, one of the guys. Yeah, in the so back. You, that's why I couldn't fit it all there. So you're, you're a little ways farther mm -hmm. back. So, okay. yeah, just but you're one hundred twenty feet. Okay. And then, and you have surprise. Um, and yeah, that is the situation. Right now. Let's make sure everybody on the chat that's watching can see this. We got the party that just came in here. They're 120 feet to these goblins hauling the sled. And then there's this huge 20-foot tall wagon with two polar bears hauling it with some other goblins on it a distance beyond that parked. That is the situation. And that will be our cliffhanger. I guess for tonight. That sound good? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I know you I, I know you guys want to do more, I do too, but <laughs> this is your our normal uh good. good cliffhanger time. That way you can kinda, you know, everybody'll be excited to come back. Whoever's watching might want to come back. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And Cindy just sent another thing into the chat. These are the good times. Yeah, so... That's the, that's the one I'm looking for. That's what oh my. leads us into next week. Can the party defeat the goblins? Polar bears and other no. other stuff. And does anyone know where the Yeti's at? Dun, dun, dun. Alaska. Not Yeti. Not Yeti. I was say Alaska. Alaska round. <laughs> around. Alaska Yeti's hole. in the neighborhood. I think the polar bears are gonna be friendly. Polar bears are going to be friendly? Uh, I think right. these are going to be friendly. Polar bears are going to be friendly? Yep, off from a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Wait a minute. Give the Good one. Good one. 
<laughs> that was a good one. So dumb. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. You said we're 120, 120 feet, feet away. 120 feet to the um, sled boy. and another 120 feet to the uh, other oh. wagon. Uh, that's fine. Just got I'm a monk with a just base speed of 40. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. The key point dash is a bonus action. <laughs> action. There we are. Start running. <laughs> yeah. I got it. I banned it. I think. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we good? This is a good We're spot. Good. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, that was fun. All right, guys. I'm going to hit the hay. All right. Yep, yeah, that was me. fun. Okay, that good was cool. Good episode. Yep, good episode. Thanks for everybody coming in tonight. Um, thanks for all. The, thanks for the raid from Irish Thunder. Thanks for Bushwicky coming in again, as always. And everybody else who stopped by and chatted and all thanks, that. Thanks, Rufus. Thanks, Rufus. Coming by and checking us out. There's quite a few people that stuck around and watched for a while. I tried to make it exciting this time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Kurt. It was a lot yeah, of fun. No problem. Yeah, All good right. time tonight. All right. Signing off. All right, we're Excited signing to off. Beat up some polar bears. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna end there with some duty free or royalty free music. So. <laughs> <laughs> duty yeah. free. I said duty. I said <laughs> Dugans. Duty. I said, do again. I said, thanks for coming into the alt. No. Uh, see you guys. Wow. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. We're going to play fire in your home. Oh, this is not ring of fire. Not ring of fire. Let's see. We need a good song. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, Gordon Freeman saved my life
shout at the bell. No sweat, now feeling swell. Now, gee golly, it's a beautiful day. You're gonna burn my troubles away. I'm going to live. Light up the town. Galaxy Dawn starts us saying good me. I'm going to live right up the town. The walls that hold me. I'm melting down. The streets and sidewalks on my playground. I'm going to live right up this town. Get the touch. Good night, everybody.